Happy new moon in Taurus, everybody. So glad you could join me. I am a Taurus, so I'm super excited about this full moon, or the, sorry, this new moon. I say that a lot. Um, and I wanted to say too, that this is one year. This is like a one year celebration and anniversary for these meditations. And one of the reasons I love doing meditation and breath work on a new moon is because regardless of what's going on energetically with each lunation, every new moon is an amazing time to really turn inward in listening to the intuition more, coming into silence more and using this time as uh, nurturing and restorative. And the energies of this new moon in particular are all about the energies of Taurus as a whole. So it's very grounding, it's very sensual, it's very floral, right? Tauruses are very into celebrating the beauty of the everyday and the idea of little indulgences. Tauruses love pleasure, that the energy of pleasure. And it's um, like the pleasure of the everyday. So ways to use this time and this energy Lunation is always, you know, for the whole month, but also like in this period of 72 hours on either side of this new moon um, is to stop and smell the roses, stop and smell these blooming flowers that we have everywhere in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, what else do I want to say about this? There's a practical aspect of this new moon, practical in terms of like whatever opportunities are in front of you in terms of like the sectors of money, finances, career, personal goals, manifestation of, you know, these particular things in your life, Taurus energy is really practical. So taking these stepwise actions to kind of fuel you toward these goals, it's going to be a lot easier this time period, these 72 hours on either side of this moon. And, um, particularly this lunation, there may be a strong urge for change. And that goes along with these spring energies of bloom and really know that you can believe in yourself and your capabilities. You're totally capable of anything you want to do. It's that desire, this feeling of desire that you want to do these things. It's going to stretch you into this place of growth and you're really supported by these energies. So with this idea of stopping the smell of the flowers, I'm going to use the image of the rose today in meditation. The rose is, it's the um, symbol for enlightenment in the West in the same way that the lotus is the symbol of enlightenment in the East. The rose is also associated with the Magdalene energies. And Mary Magdalena was an ascended master. She has a whole lineage of energies, which I work with very regularly. So anytime or anyone who's worked with me before has also worked with the Magdalena energies. So let's come into the body a little bit. I learned this really amazing tip from my friend, Ra Ralph Havens, if you just take your three fingers right to the sternum, very softly, the softest, softest touch, and just start to press and lift. But this press is so light. And just start to feel how you can start to drop into the body with this gentle touch and lift upward. Good. So you can use that any time of the day you need to come back into the body. And we'll close the eyes and using these energies of the Taurus new moon, get into our grounding feeling. Grounding can be done anytime you want through being barefoot outside, touching trees, but it can also be done energetically. So we'll start an energetic grounding by imagining cords of energy flowing out of the base of the pelvis right where the sit bones are, all the way down through the layers of earth. And down into the crystalline core. Matagaya, Mother Earth has a crystalline core. You now picture these cords of energy wrapping around the core, anchoring, stabilizing, grounding your energy.
And then drawing this energy back up through the layers of earth. Picture this energy, this amber color of earth filling up the feet and the legs, filling up the bowl of the pelvis. And as it starts to fill up the spine, start to stack the spine bones and then feel it filling up the core, the neck, the head all the way up to the crown. And then circling this energy back down into the heart and out the arms all the way to the fingertips. And then we'll connect up to source light and calling in the highest light of source bringing this light down, this tube of light that surrounds all of us, connecting to the crown, the antakarana, bringing light down through the antakarana and into the physical heart, into the emotional heart, and expanding this light outward through the physicality and the subtle bodies. Now bringing your awareness into the base of the spine, the root chakra, Muladhara chakra, imagining a red rose unfurling, opening. The energy of this rose of stability. And then bringing your awareness into the sacral chakra, right at the space of Svadhisthana chakra, right in between the points of the pelvis. An orange rose unfurling, opening full of light, maybe it's a little bit sparkly even, like glittery. This rose blooming, opening, activating these energies of creativity and sensuality. And bringing your awareness up into the solar plexus. A yellow rose opening, brightening the space of capability. This power center, knowing you're capable of all you wish to do, all of the goals you have and aligned in these energies to take action on these goals. And drawing this energy and your awareness up to the heart space. Envisioning a bright pink rose. This one's opening so big and bright in this heart space on a Hatha chakra. Space of love, devotion for yourself, devotion for all that you came to do here. 
for all that you desire to do. And seeing this rose open even more and connecting to everyone on this call, on this recording, however you're listening to it. I'm really seeing each petal unfurling on that spiral place of this rose, the heart center. Maybe this rose even has a fragrance so that you can connect to it more readily. Now this rose is supported by all of the roses below it, the structure that we have through the spinal column, through each portal of the chakras. This space of groundedness, of stability, the space of creativity and sensuality, the space of capability and empowerment, and the space of devotion. Devotion to you, compassion for you and others. Now we'll use this space to start to draw energy and light upward through the throat and up to the brain. And imagine the tiniest rose, like a little spray rose in white, this little white light in the shape of a rose, moving in a figure eight pattern on either side of the brain, balancing the two hemispheres of the brain. And maybe your eyes even start to move in a figure eight pattern. And then starting to bring this rose into the center of the brain, deep in where the pineal gland is. It's a little cave. And this rose starting to bring a light to the pineal gland, breaking up any calcification as if it's a little fairy, <laughs> sprinkling fairy dust that just dissolves that calcification. It's starting to brighten the pineal gland. And we'll invoke more light from source down the antikarana and into the pineal gland, this bright white light. And as it lands, it just brightens the power of this little white rose. Good, and then we'll use this light flushing the whole series of these portals, these chakras, all the way down the spinal column and just flushing out anything that is weighing us down, anything we don't need, low frequency energies, whoosh, just flushing right out through the base of the pelvis. Good, and then taking your hands, just stack them on top of the heart, feeling that heart space, that how beneath it is this bright pink rose, fully open, fully blossoming, fully connected to you, ready to serve you.
and breathing into the hands, we'll move into some very simple breath work. And I'll just tell you the cadence and you can adjust it as needed, but just simple inhale for four counts and then exhale for six. So we'll empty the breath completely if you'd like to stay with me. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And keep breathing on your own. I'll just talk you through some points, starting to feel the breath on the inhale expanding on all sides of the rib cage, all 360 degrees around you. And as you exhale, starting to feel that rib cage compact again, back to this neutral resting position. And connecting to that expansion and contraction. Taking one or more rounds until you feel connected to your own breath. And then starting to release the control of the breath, settling into a few minutes of silence. And I'll activate a light blessing. All you need to do is breathe and be still and receive. And placing the hands in the heart and knowing that light blessing is all about breaking up or dissolving, transmuting the energies of fear that live in the limbic brain and promoting this sense of love throughout the brain. And we'll open the eyes. So glad you could join me. Namaste.